Good morning, Foundry Church, and welcome, boys and girls, to a very special video today. So as you know, today is Easter Sunday, which means we have a very special topic to talk about, and that's the meaning of Easter and why we celebrate it. So let's think just for a moment about a time we were really surprised. So maybe someone threw us a surprise party and we walked in and we weren't expecting it. Or maybe you got a really nice present for your birthday or for Christmas and you were just so excited and overjoyed. So surprise is a feeling that the people felt when Jesus was resurrected. Resurrected means to raise from the dead. Jesus was resurrected from the grave. So today's story is about Jesus' death on the cross and his resurrection. So before we move on to the story today, I'm going to give you guys a visual here. So if you look at the screen, there's going to be an image of a broken vase. Some of you may not have even been able to tell that it once was a vase, but I assure you it was. So this vase is broken into many, many pieces and it can't perform its original function anymore. If you tried to put water in that, it would just all fall out all over the place. Sometimes in life, we can feel a lot like that vase. We can feel broken and maybe even useless and just like our life isn't going how we want it to. A lot of times in life, things do not turn out as we hope and we get really discouraged and sad about how things are going in life. So I want you guys to save that picture of the vase in your brain and we'll come back to it later. But for now, just think of yourself similar to that vase, just broken. Okay, so I want you guys to take out your Bibles and flip to Romans chapter 3, verse 23. Um, pause the video if you need to, but let's take a look at that verse. So guys, starting at verse 23, the Bible says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God and are justified by his grace as a gift through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus whom God put forward as a propitiation by his blood to be received by faith so those words are kind of big so it might be a little difficult to understand but essentially what that verse is saying is that we are imperfect and we sin um, sin is any bad thing that you do um, and sometimes it's not very obvious when you are sinning. Sometimes it's just as easy or small as feeling jealous of someone for having maybe cooler clothes than you or a new toy. Um, but any sin is viewed as equal in God's eyes. So what this passage is saying is because we have sinned, we are broken and unholy. But through God's grace, he sent his only son down to earth to die on the cross for our sins and wipe our slates clean. So if you guys know that song lyric, sin had left a crimson stain, he washed it white as snow. So that's what Jesus did on the cross for us when he died. Um, so we are going to now transition into our Bible story. And this again is about Jesus's crucifixion, meaning his death on the cross and resurrection, which means his rising from the dead. Um, and we're going to jump around a little bit with this story. Um, so instead of following along in your Bibles, I'll encourage you guys to listen to the story I'm telling you on the video. All right, again, this is called Jesus' Crucifixion and Resurrection. Jesus had been arrested and taken to Pilate, the governor. The governor's soldiers had put a scarlet robe on Jesus. They made a crown of thorns and placed it on his head. Then they mocked him. Here's the king of the Jews. They beat Jesus and led him away to be killed. The soldiers nailed Jesus to a cross. They put a sign above his head that said, This is Jesus, the king of the Jews. Two criminals were crucified next to him. Darkness covered the land. Jesus cried out, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Jesus shouted again, and then he died. Suddenly, the curtain in the temple sanctuary split in two from top to bottom. There was an earthquake. One of the men guarding Jesus' body said, This man really was God's son. Jesus was buried in a tomb. 
A stone was rolled in front and sealed the front of the tomb so that no one could seal Jesus' body. On the third day, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to the tomb. Suddenly there was an earthquake. An angel of the Lord rolled back the stone and sat upon it. The guards were so afraid they fainted. The angel spoke to the women, Don't be afraid. I know you are looking for Jesus, but he is not here. He has risen, just like he said he would. The women left the tomb quickly. They ran to tell the disciples the good news. Just then, Jesus greeted them. The women worshipped him. Don't be afraid, Jesus told them. Tell my followers to go to Galilee. They will see me there. Then Jesus appeared to Peter and then to the other disciples. Jesus also appeared to more than 500 people who followed him. Many people witness that Jesus is alive. So Jesus' death and resurrection is the center of the gospel. Jesus died to pay for our sins. Jesus is alive. God gives hope and true joy to everyone who trusts in Jesus. So like we heard in our story and in that verse in Romans, Jesus died on the cross to pay for our sins. The story of Jesus' death and resurrection encourages us believers to press on with our faith. We are not to be held down by sin and shame, but instead we are made new because of Jesus' sacrifice for us. So let's go take a look at that vase we saw earlier. So as you can see, it's still broken in many, many pieces, but through an ancient art called kintsugi, they put the pot together and paint it and as you can see now it looks beautiful and it still fulfills its purpose so they took something that was once broken and unusable and turned it into something beautiful and useful again this is really similar to what Jesus's death on the cross does for us we were taken of all of our sin and all of our shame and guilt and through Jesus's death and resurrection on the cross all of those sins were wiped away he put us back together and made us new. He turned something broken and useless and turned it into something beautiful and made us whole again. Jesus' death and resurrection on the cross was a promise that God made to the believers. And as we can see, God always keeps his promises. He fulfilled his promise to send a savior to rescue people from their sins. Jesus' resurrection gives us joy and a reason to celebrate. And that is what we do on Easter. Every year on Easter, we celebrate Jesus' death and resurrection and celebrate the fact that we are made new because of it. So while Easter bunnies and candy and Easter egg hunts may be fun, the real reason we celebrate Easter is because of Jesus' great sacrifice for us that has delivered us from sin and made us whole again. I want you guys to take some time later on today to talk about with your families what this giant sacrifice means to you and what it means to them and to talk about the true importance of today. Alright guys, I'm going to let you go after this prayer, so why don't you fold your hands, close your eyes, and bow your heads with me. Lord Jesus, we thank you so much for your amazing sacrifice to die on the cross, to die a painful death um, for our sins and for us. Even though you were completely sinless and blameless, we thank you that you were able to um, deliver us from that sin and shame and guilt. Um, we pray that today we would just give this day over to you, Lord, and spend every moment just reflecting on what this sacrifice means to us and um, just honoring you and glorifying you and worshiping you today, Lord. Um, I pray that all of our friends at home watching just really can soak up the meaning of today's lesson and understand that incredible, incredible sacrifice that you made for them. Lord, I pray that they have meaningful discussions today with their families about what today means, and I pray that they just spend time with their families and just love on each other and worship the Lord with each other. In your name we pray, amen. All right, thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. I pray you have a happy Easter, and even though chocolate's not the main focus of Easter, I encourage you to eat some. That is good stuff. All right, have a great day, guys.